Hello, I'm Dr. Tara Sagar, internist and medical director for Medical and Surgical Clinics of Southern Maryland, an affiliate of Southern Maryland Hospital. I am particularly interested in the shingles vaccine. I'm very excited to talk about the vaccine. I think it's exciting that there's been more publicity on it and more patients are asking about it. Shingles causes a painful, blistering skin rash. Shingles, also known as herpes zoster, is caused by an infection with the varicella zoster virus, the same virus that causes chicken pox. Initially, individuals are infected with chicken pox, and once this illness resolves, the virus actually lives in the nerve roots of the body. At any time, the virus can be reactivated and cause a localized rash called shingles. Usually, patients have one episode of shingles, but multiple episodes have been seen. Most commonly, patients will experience a stripe of uh, blistering and rash on one side of the body or the other. This rash can be very, very painful. Some patients will even experience headaches, nausea, or even fevers and chills. The symptoms will resolve within weeks, usually, but can potentially last months to even years. There can be pain or irritation in the area up to five days before the rash actually appears. We use antiviral medications to treat shingles, such as acyclovir and valcyclovir. They will often shorten the course and severity of the disease and should be started as soon as the rash or symptoms appear. Pain medications are also used to help reduce the severity of the symptoms. Anyone who has had chicken pox can develop shingles, even children. It is more commonly seen in patients over the age of 50. However, even patients who are immunocompromised or on immunosuppressive medications can be at higher risk even under the age of 50. Over the age of 60 are at risk for developing more complications associated with any disease. Shingles is no exception. As we get older, it's harder to adapt to more serious diseases, and shingles is one of them. Rashes can become more painful, more blistering, fevers, chills, nausea, vomiting can become more significant. Now while a 20, 30, or 40 year old may be able to adapt to these types of symptoms more easily, somebody who is 60, 70, or 80 may find it more difficult and have a harder course. The vaccine was developed years ago and was approved by the Food and Drug Administration about six years ago. The shingles vaccine is a one-time inoculation. Most insurance carriers will cover it, but patients really should check with their insurance providers prior to getting the vaccine. Like all vaccines, there are risks. No serious problems have been identified with the shingles vaccine. It does not contain thimerosal, which is a preservative with mercury. The most common side effects in people who get the vaccine have been soreness and swelling and itching at the site of the injection, headaches and nausea, but there's no documentation of a person getting chicken pox from someone who has received the shingles vaccine. Zostavax, the vaccine to prevent shingles, consists of an attenuated virus at a concentration of 14 times that of Verivax, the vaccine to prevent chicken pox. Zostavax and Verivax cannot be used interchangeably. About one in three patients will actually develop the disease of all ranges of severity. This vaccine is very important in helping reduce the risks and complications affiliated with the disease. It's important for all patients to discuss it with their physician. But there's no documentation of a person getting chicken pox from someone who has received the shingles vaccine. Everyone over the age of 60 should get the vaccine. 
I would encourage everyone to speak with their physician and find out whether or not the varicella vaccine is the right vaccine for you.